Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 50. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, here we go. So we are going to start with the Class D North American Tour. Um, we got Sebring, Mazda Raceway, Sedona Raceway. Ah, oh, this is the first time we get the full Sedona. Ah, oh, let's go. Uh, Sebring Short and then uh, Sunset Peninsula full circuit. Let's go. This is for the ones who care. Here we go. By the way, if you are watching on Twitch, hello everyone. Thank you for watching live. Um, feel free to type exclamation mark YT in the chat to see my YouTube channel where I'll be posting all of these uh, streams up um, to watch in the future. If you are watching this on YouTube, hello people watching on YouTube. Don't forget, you can check the description to be able to watch these live and come and watch them on Twitch. Uh, and also in the description, there should be a link where you can actually... That explains how you can get early access to all of the content that I put on YouTube. So feel free to take a look at that as well. But yeah, appreciate the support today. It's been amazing. Today's been a great stream. Yeah, I've just realized this spoiler basically just covers the entire back of this car. Impressive. I do like the look of this Camaro, actually. It's quite cool. And also, this car that we're using right now has been voted on by Twitch chat. From 2, 4, 5, and 6 have been discontinued. Sucks, right? Honestly, for, for Xbox, it's not as bad. Because Xbox just accumulates points with their achievements. So it just means you can't earn as many points. So it, although it sucks, um, but it's not as bad on Xbox. It, it, it's still annoying though, definitely. But on PlayStation, the one thing that really bugs me about trophies on that game or on that platform is the fact that some of them for platinums require multiplayer play to be able to get the platinum trophies for those games and i really wish that playstation developers uh, like people that develop games for playstation would separate their trophies because you can make trophy packs on playstation you can make like a game the main sort of like platinum trophy game pack that has the platinum in it that can just be like offline stuff and then add extra achievements that are multiplayer only so that it doesn't affect a platinum run developers won't do that though and I mean it does suck with Forza again the fact that some trophies there do get discontinued but at least with those Sure, you don't get the fact that it says, oh, you've got a thousand game score out of a thousand for this game. But when someone looks at your profile, a majority of the time they just look at, oh, look, you've got 70,000 game score. That's what a lot of people look at on Xbox. Whereas on PlayStation, a lot of people look um, Yo, what up, Orbit? How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Also, Fallen's not the simp boss anymore. So, it's now uh, Arachnix. That's the simp boss. <laughs> Arachnix came earlier on and um, donated 100 quid. So, pretty nice. Yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, when anyone ever looks on Xbox, they're always looking at um, how much gamer score you've got. So, really, when you're getting achievements, you're adding up to a total number but on playstation a lot more often people will look at ah oh, how many trophies have you got in total 
but also how many platinums have you got? So a hundred quid. You were there in chat, weren't you? You literally sent a message before and after it. Yeah, so Twitch has changed their payout threshold. They obviously announced it like two or three months ago, but they were doing it with different countries, uh, and it's finally come to the UK, which really surprised me. Wait. You literally sent a message before he did it and after he did it, and there were like three minutes between each other. It doesn't take you that long to have a shower, or it takes you longer than that to have a shower, right? I mean, to be fair, my showers are pretty quick. <laughs> None of this messing around in the shower bullshit. In, lather up, wash it off, get the fuck out. Don't need any extra dallying in there. So I'm getting paid for not streaming in over a month. Poggers, dude. <laughs> well, at least you get your payout, I guess. That's a bonus. I missed it. Fair enough, Cotto. Fair enough. Trust me, I got absolutely jump scared when um, Arachnix did it because it was, it did the Skrillex call 911, which was really loud because I've got the alert set up to absolutely jump scare the arse out of me. So, but yeah, today's stream's been pretty awesome. Your daddy in on her all night long, doesn't care about the money she can do it, anybody. You are alone. Is this something in your mouth? Yeah, this this song, it only just clicked a couple of weeks ago that this song literally is just talking about a blowjob. You love when you never pull it out Cause you look so much cuter With something in your mouth <laughs> It's such a weird song lyric Hey, not bad, Cotto. Not bad. I haven't really played much of the Crash Bandicoot trilogy thing. Sucking on a thumb when you never pull it out. How you been though, uh, Orbit? Hopefully you've been good. Been up the dance floor, honey. Around for everyone. I love the way you dance with everybody and tease them all by sucking on your thumb. We got five people in the chat at the moment. Awesome. You punch my manager on Friday, but good lord. <laughs> what does your manager have to do for you to punch him? <laughs> or want to punch them, should I say? To be fair, anyone in a manager role, like 95% of the time, is a dick and deserves a punch. Gotta change my mind. Is this DOA? Ah, oh, yeah, I love DOA. This is such a good song. Band, that's a good first race there. Woo! Saving Ghost, please don't turn off your console. Result first place, 12 grand. Woohoo! We got 9,500 XP. Uh, we now have a 50% discount on ignition upgrades by Champion. Ooh. Nice. Uh, you now have a 50% discount on fuel system. That sort of, um, what's it called? That reminds me of my time at McDonald's. Honestly, I kid you not. McDonald's is fine if you just need a little bit of money. But I kid you not, it's such a shit place to work. Mc McDon McDonald's managers are vile people. Or the one that I worked at, they were vile. Um, horrible group of people. Boss you around while sitting on their asses doing nothing. Um... 
Yeah, they were just horrible. Huh. Fair enough, Fawn. Really didn't realise that they had, um... Like... Hireable drivers in this. It's like, uh, Gran Turismo B-Spec, isn't it? Fair enough. I did see on, uh, Motorsport... One, that there was a higher driver tar option. Um, but that was basically, you had to train it beforehand, and then it would drive for you. Um, but yeah, I didn't, didn't really look at that at all, just because obviously with this, it's sort of me wanting to play it and complete the game. I've sort of got a couple of rules for myself in this playthrough. Got a driving manual and have to drive myself. Can't use any cheat tactics or anything like that to do it. Can't let someone else play for me. I have to complete it myself. That's basically what I've said, everything else. I don't... Difficulty options don't really bother me, that kind of stuff. So just do the difficulty that I'm comfortable with. Assists that I'm comfortable with, everything else just must be a manual, pretty much. Yeah. I think you said a couple of times that you don't like your manager, Kodo, but. I remember you telling me your uh, Pizza Express story. That was pretty fucked up. Supposed to be on the menu right before you start the race. Is it? Okay. Didn't even know it was possible to do that, so fair enough. I assume they take like 50% of your race earnings then, or something like that, if you're not actually the one driving. We are the prodigy. But that's pretty cool that they actually allow you to not even drive the car. So if you get enjoyment just from like spectating and watching someone else drive it. You can do that. Obviously, I wouldn't get enjoyment out of that. I don't didn't really like B-Spec much in Gran Turismo, but there are people that enjoy that. And fair enough. Good on the developers for adding it. I assume they removed it for the later Forzas, though, because I definitely, with the hours that I've put into Motorsport 7, have not seen that kind of feature. And if it is in Motorsport 7... How the fuck have I not noticed it? <laughs> How have I not noticed it? This is you. Invaders must die. Oh god, tonight's gonna be great. I've got to cook a burger. I've got to cook some burgers for my dinner. I've got to make the burgers. Then I've got to edit these videos. That's four videos to edit, which is a couple of hours. I'm not going to sleep till, like, what? I, I'd be lucky if I'm asleep by three. <laughs> three in the morning. I'll be 100% honest. I'll be lu lucky if I'm asleep at three in the morning. And then tomorrow, I've got to sort out all my thumbnails and my... Actually uploading them to YouTube. And then Wednesday, I've got to do my final stream before going on my break. Which requires me to edit four videos and upload them to YouTube and edit the thumbnails all before 12 o'clock the next day. Literally, I will have 24 hours once I start that stream to have it all done. Like, I'll be on a time crunch. These past, like, two weeks have been crazy, like, non-stop, just editing, sorting footage. Because I've been recording so much that while I'm away, I have additional content, because I'm not going to be doing the streams, and still having my regular content as well. Jesus. I'm going to have a well-deserved holiday. <laughs> Which, by the way, chat, if you're watching on Twitch, uh, feel free to type exclamation mark YT. You'll get a link to my YouTube channel. There's a 
A lot of good quality content over there. And that's sort of what we're doing for this Forza thing. We're recording all of these live streams and then uploading them to YouTube as part of the uh, Forza Mega Series that I'm doing. It's a big project. It's going to be going for a while. <laughs> I do actually like the way that my setup is because I'm currently testing sort of a new layout where my monitors are. <laughs> Shut up, Kodo. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Smiley face. About ten thousand and one HP. God, we gotta go through all that of trying to attack the simp boss again. Bad saving ghost, please don't turn off your console. Not bad. Uh, we now have a 50% discount on differential upgrades by Eaton Posse. Sure. If you say that wrong, it sounds really wrong. <laughs> Time to go. On the road again. I don't even know the lyrics to that song. It's just the first word, just on the road again. Here we go. Let's go! Yeah, so the uh, Forza Motorsport 3 content that's going up on YouTube is actually doing pretty good numbers wise, so. Uh, thank you everyone that has been tuning into it on YouTube. Whoa. This race might take a while. bit of a love tap. Hey, no worries, Matrix. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, and I'll have a look at that document um, when I get a chance. Um, and if that, uh, whoever it is, sends over that Steam Deck instructions, um, I will go over them. I'll have no clue what any of them means because I don't own a Steam Deck, but, you know, I can get the gist, I guess. Oh, wait, hang on. You've sent me a message. I didn't even see it. Ah, fair enough. Okay, yeah, it is my turn. <laughs> I'll have a look at it later. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Coolio. I'll have a look at it tonight. Um, if I remember, that is. I will definitely do it before I go away on holiday. I pinky promise. 
I've also got four videos to edit tonight. I'll probably do it uh, while the videos are rendering. That's actually a good idea. Never gonna sleep again. Never gonna sleep again. It's taken three minutes to do a lap. I heard the promise. <laughs> well, I, 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 man of my word, I will definitely do it before I go away on holiday. But if I haven't done it within 24 hours, just send me a message to remind me. But uh, I sh should be able to do it tonight. But again, my memory is shit. <laughs> I'll be honest. My very short attention span forgets a lot of things and gets distracted very easily. <laughs> It's one of the downsides of ADHD. Like, I love ADHD because I'm, like, always have energy on supply. But I fucking hate it with the memory. <laughs> it's just terrible. It's like, oh, there's another thing I forgot to do today. There's another thing. Oh, look, a butterfly. <laughs> That's literally it. If there was a definition, like an easy, like one sentence definition for ADHD, oh look a butterfly is the full definition. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love this song. Biffy Clyro is amazing. Because lately it's hard to let you know. I'm on the turn. So I'm gonna howl like an animal. You know. Caro and BBS being advertised next to each other. Hopefully. I swear HKS makes rims and sprouts, so isn't that kind of counterproductive to advertise that and and Sparko? I thought they're not allowed to be sponsored with each other. Like you can't have Sparko and Recaro on the same sponsorship because they sell similar stuff. Like, they sell clothing and stuff like that, so... Oh, well. Crash be like, suck my nips. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot just doesn't want you to complete it. This is a long racetrack. It's a very long racetrack. I can guarantee if I was playing WRC right now, I'd be on WRC 4. Like, if we did the WRC Mega Series now, instead of Forza, we would have been on WRC 4, guaranteed. Probably getting close to finishing WRC4 and moving on to 5 at this point.
Most of, the, most of the time I use the store anyways, even on PS5, like the PS Plus app shows you all the games, but so here's the thing, on PlayStation it's got separate apps, um, and by the looks of it the PlayStation Plus app on PlayStation doesn't act, it, it's a completely separate thing to the store, whereas on PS5 because of how quick it swaps between applications, they use a hyperlink on the PS Plus app to send you to the store page of the game. And obviously there's no load-in for that. So, um, whenever you do that, it, it's always on the store. But when I did try the PS4 um, for a short while, it, it was a pain in the ass for me. I didn't really like the PS4 that much whenever I had to use it. It wasn't my PS4 whenever I did use one, but still, the pain in the ass. All right, here we go, Sebring. Cut scene. I do like the fact at the start of the races on um, Forza, they do hype you up a little more. I know on, um, what's it called? Gran Turismo has a similar thing, but theirs is just like, oh, here's a car. There's an angle, there's an angle, go. It's been exactly the same animation pretty much since... Early Gran Turismo's, probably. But they don't really make any excitement out of it, whereas Forza is like... Vroom, vroom. Oh. Message. I should probably check that, but I can't be asked. If you sent me that message, I apologize, but I really can't be bothered right now. I'm busy. <laughs> I am busy creating content. Up, 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 up. The moth in my room, I can hear it. Just laughing at me menacingly. Like, haha, I'm in your room. Meow. Laps have to go. <sighs> I never understood why they have a board there that shows the corner, but just for that one corner. I don't really see any boards that show you how these corners go. It's really strange. 
I got itch in my nose. It's really annoying me. that song oh no it's f for you ah oh, this is a tune i've been infected with restless whispers and cheats starving i need food come on let's hurry up let's get this race done get the thumbnails so i can get food starving man Been infected with restless whispers and cheats. What time is it? Let's just hit 10 o'clock. I still can't believe it's 10 o'clock and I have not eaten dinner. That's a new one on my books. Because I played the fool for you. Because I played the fool for you. Been infected with restless whispers and cheats. One more lap. I haven't heard that tune for a while, honestly. There are so many good songs in this playlist. I should get a, a what's it called? A hyperlink. Like a command in my chat to um to my actual song playlist because there are some tunes on it. There's some really good songs. Because I played the fool for you. The only problem is I don't use Spotify because I'm I don't know. I like higher quality audio, I guess. Well, no, that is why. <laughs> because I played the fool for you. Yeah, my CPU temperature's going up just gradually because I'm constantly just recording stuff, so it's like slowly creeping up. If I was doing this for like 24 hours, I think my CPU would probably be at like a stable 70 at this point. It'd be like warm. Because I played the fool for you. And there we go. Continue. We got 12 grand as well as 9,000 experience points. Uh, you now have a 20% discount on valves and displacement upgrades by GM Performance Chevrolet. I think my Twitch view count has broken again. Because everyone's just died. It says they no longer exist. Oh uh, yeah, I'd be able to call afterwards. Do you want to ring after uh, this... Uh, what's it called? This race. Because I'll just be doing my thumbnails after that. Come on, get out of the way. Say, before the world gets serious, go buy my shirt and tie. I need to access all areas, work on my chat up lines. So give me the girls, give me the girls, give me the beach and the sunshine. Yeah, I'm on a mission, trying to get it all out of the system. Oh no, I've overshot the corner. Mm -hmm. 
There was no way I was going to make it round that, so I had to rewind. I think I've done alright, to be honest, with my playthrough. I'm. This is episode 50 right now, and I am will have used rewind for legitimate rewinding reasons no more than five times, I think. Which is not too bad. It's one every ten episodes I've had to rewind. I think that's all right. Granted, most of the time it is because I'm looking at chat and I'm distracted. Because I'm an idiot. By my shirt and tie. I need to access all areas. Work on my chat up lines. So give me the girls, give me the girls, give me the beach and the sunshine. Yeah, I'm on a mission. To get it all out of my system. Something just bit my arm. Yeah, bastard. It was like a mosquito, probably. To be fair, it's my fault for leaving the window open, but I don't sleep with my window closed. Me no like it. I like fresh air. Fresh air, good. Serious, I go by my shirt and tie. Need to access all areas. Work on my chat up lines. So give me the girls, give me the girls, give me the beach and the sunshine. Meow. And now we're gonna lose control, yeah, lose control. I'm actually curious how much storage space all of my YouTube videos take up on YouTube servers. Actually kind of curious. Because if I was to predict a number based on the fact that I have about 800 videos on there. Maybe 900 now. If you work it out approximately... We'll say about a gigabyte average per video. Oh, that's not too bad actually. It's not as big as I thought. I thought it would be a bit more. Because one of these videos is about 900 megabytes on YouTube servers when you download them afterwards. So yeah, that's not too bad, actually. I mean, it's like 6 gigabytes to upload these. But when they compress it, on their end, it ends up being about 800 megs. <laughs> God, I it's a bad idea having that Red Bull before stream because now the energy's kicked in. I'm very backwards with um, energy drinks. So if I have an energy drink, it takes a bit for it to kick into my system. So, when it, with a normal person, when you have an energy drink, they'll typically have a buzz, a kick, whatever. And then... Uh, what's it called? Um, we'll have a crash afterwards. I'll have a mini crash... Where I'm... Feel really tired as soon as I start drinking it. For an hour or two, maybe an hour, and then I'm proper, like hyper focused, whatever, and then I'm just buzzing, too much energy, and then it all dies off after a while, but then I can't sleep for like six hours. So, it's really backwards and weird. 
with packs of ADHD then. Energy drinks do completely different things. Similar to ADHD drugs, actually. Having an energy drink is very similar to having, um, what's it called? An ADHD drug. So if ever you're someone without ADHD and wants want to know what it's like to take an ADHD pill for you, have two cans of energy drink and you'll find out soon enough. Not even joking. Because once I cross this finish line and get my thumbnails, I'm finishing the stream and getting my food. I'm a fat man that wants dinner. <laughs> fat man need his din dins. Alright. Let's do a little showboat to finish the stream. Woohoo! That was close to hitting the wall. Oh my god. Right, we've got 12 grand there. We've got 9,300 XP towards our car level. Haven't leveled up yet. Let's see what bonus we get. Uh, 23 grand, I believe that was. I didn't see it long enough to process it. Uh, there we go. Call again. That is four events done in today's stream, and it's only taken us four hours. It's about an hour each for each of these events, which is uh, pretty impressive. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Uh -huh.